Hello everyone, welcome back to another video and if you're new, welcome to Grave and Dressed. Today I'm here at St. Leonard's Church in Middleton. Where I'm going to tell you about a story of an old grave robber from the, sometime in the 1800s. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video and if you're new, welcome to Grave Interest. So today I'm here at St. Leonard's Church, which you can see there, over in Middleton. And I'm going to tell you a story about a grave robber from the, sometime in the 1800s called Old Kanki. Now, he said that he said that he, uh, he lived somewhere in the cemetery. I think down on Lodge Street. Watching the uh, funerals taking place up above in here, and uh, at night he'd come back and he would uh, steal the body. There's a there's a gill that he used to come up right at the back over there, which I'll find and I'll take you down. Uh, it, it's now known as Kanky's Gill. So he used to come up there at night, dig up the body sneakily take it back down through the back of the cemetery, down the ginnel to the river Irk where he would float it to the city centre and sell the bodies to medical students <laughs> to, you know, to learn anatomy and things like that, all medicinal type stuff obviously it weren't legal time I don't think he would have been uh, put off by the punishment which would have just been a fine in fact there was more punishment if there was clothes on it because then you get done for theft of clothing stupid right okay I'll, uh, I'll take you along the path I'll try and find Right, so that's it. That's Kanki's Ginnel. So he would have come up here at night. Up those steps. Found where the burial was. Dug it up. Drop it back down here. Down these steps. Right, let's have a walk down. So, Kanki's Ginnel is back round there, just round that corner. And then the church, St. Leonard's, is back up there, you can just about see it. So you had to come down Kanki's Ginnel 
to the River Irk, which is just there. And that's where he would have floated the bodies down the river into the city centre and sell them. Show you this quickly. There's the remains of an old church. I think it's about 200 years old. Right, so. Right, so that was the story of Old Kanki. Uh, back up at St Leonard's now. So no one knew really who he was. Um, no one knew his real name. Some say it's just urban legend. I don't know. I mean, it all kind of makes sense really, the ease of it. I mean, the cemetery. at the top of the hill. It's all quite easily accessible. Right, okay, that's it for now. Uh, thanks for watching. If you like the video, make sure you press the like button and uh, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks a lot. See you later.